guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I am going to give you a lesson on how to use a find and change script that will locate and fix paragraph style pairs. Now if you have no idea what I just said, don't worry. Long story short, this script will help you quickly style your book without needing to manually apply a style to every single paragraph. Instead, the script will identify certain paragraphs and then style it and the following paragraph, saving you lots of time. So to get started, first let's look at our script. If you don't know what a script does or how to use one, no worries. So, a script is essentially a Java file that runs an executable code. Now, we don't have to write any code. Fortunately, all we need to do is copy it over in order to get a hold of it. Um, so let me show you where I am right now. Hang on one second, there we go. All right, so this is where I am pulling this code from. And I will go ahead and link this um, in the description for you. This script was originally written by Thomas S., who is very well known in the InDesign community for writing lots of very helpful scripts. This is a slightly modified version of his script that will work with Windows machines and also has a little bit of an upgraded uh, wizard to help you utilize the script as well. So all we need to do in order to get a hold of this script is to copy all of the code. And GitHub here has a nice little copy button for us to use. I'm gonna click that. And now what we need to do is open up a text editor. I'm simply going to use Notepad. I am going to now paste all of this text into this notepad. Now I'm going to save the code. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. I'm going to name it fix p pairs. Now note, I am using underscores for my file name. Scripts do not like it if you put a space in the file name. Make sure you have no spaces, you can use underscores instead. Now here's the important bit. Currently this document is going to be saved by default as a .txt document. That will not work in a script. Instead we need to use a .jsx file. This is a Drava script executive file. This is how we will execute the code. So now I'm going to click save. And we can go ahead and close this notepad. Now I'm going to navigate to my desktop. Um, there it is. And I'm going to grab that code. There it is, fix P pairs. I'm going to cut it out of here. Now, where do we put the script? The script needs to go into an InDesign folder in your computer. For a Windows user, this is where it will go. Navigate to your PC, go to your C drive or wherever your Adobe files are contained. Then go to Program Files, Adobe, Adobe InDesign, and then go down to the Scripts folder. Oops, the Scripts folder. From here, my scripts are contained in the Scripts panel folder under Samples and under JavaScript. Then I am simply going to paste in this code. Your computer will ask you for admin administrator permission because this is a coded file. Could possibly mal hold malicious uh, code in it, but this one does not. I can guarantee you that. So I'm going to give it permission to install this in this area. There we go. Now our JavaScript executable file is in the proper folder. Now let us go back to InDesign. Here is my unstyled document. Let me flip through this real quick just to show you all. Everything is currently styled with just a regular body copy. Now I do not 
want to go through this whole document and manually apply my styles. If I did that, I would need to open up my paragraph styles panel and I would need to apply my H1 for the preface. I would need to apply my, my quote here. Which one is that? My quote, my quote author, my body first title page. Actually, I think this is supposed to be, there we go, chapter title, that's what that's supposed to be. Okay, so then I would need to go through a whole book and do that every single time for every single chapter. And that's going to take me quite a long time because this book has quite a bit of different styles in it. Instead, let's use our scripts. Now we will have to style at least one style throughout the book to help our script know where to start. So what I'm going to do is undo everything I just did. And I am now going to scroll through the book and apply my number one, my top style to everything. For this book, that is going to be my chapter number, typically. The preface doesn't have a chapter number, so I'm simply going to uh, manually apply my chapter title to it. And then I'm going to scroll through and apply the chapter numbers manually. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit as well by using my find change to look for the word chapter and a space. Then I can ask it to apply a format of chapter number for me. I'm going to change that one, change that one. I'm pretty sure this book only uses the word chapter when it actually means a chapter and a number. So I'm going to go ahead and let it change all. Okay, now that we have applied our top level styles, we can let our script do everything else for us. In this book, I know consistently that after every instance of chapter title, there is going to be a title page quote. Now, your book needs to be fairly consistent in order for this script to really work for you, but it's okay if it messes it up a little bit, you can go back and fix those manually in just a few seconds. So what we're going to do is leave our cursor in this text frame, and I'm going to go to my scripts panel, which is right here. If you cannot see this on your machine, go up to Window, Utilities, and then Scripts. Now I'm going to look for my script. You may need to open up some of these subfolders in order to see it. And let's go find Fix P Pairs. Here is what the face of this script looks like. I'm going to tell this script to find chapter number followed by a body. And we're going to tell it to change it into chapter number followed by chapter title. When I click OK, You see, nothing has changed here because I've already assigned paragraph, uh, I've already assigned a chapter title here, but let's scroll down and find a chapter. Here, perfect. So I applied this style manually, and then my script applied this style following that other style for me. Now, let's do this again. What is this paragraph style called? Chapter title, okay? So we know following this style, we want there to always be a chapter quote. So let's run the script again. I'm gonna open it up. We're going to tell it to this time look for chapter title followed by body. We're going to change that to chapter title followed by title page quote. Click okay. Excellent, now that has been applied through the whole book. Let's run it again. 
we are going to look for title page quote followed by body. We're going to change that to title page quote followed by quote author. Okay, perfect. We'll run it again. We're going to find quote author followed by body. We're going to change that to quote author followed by title page body first. Uh, this one, yep. Perfect, excellent. So now my whole book has pretty much been styled for me at this point. Now keep in note, the script will get messed up a little bit if you have spaces in between. For example, let's say I wanted to change uh, this styling, say I no longer wanted to have the title page first anymore after the quote author. Let's say if I change quote author to be followed by anything, I want it to instead be quote author followed by, let's say a bulleted list. Hmm, that's interesting. You know, maybe the script has been updated. That didn't used to work before. It would only apply it to this blank paragraph instead of to the next thing with content on it. So good. I guess you don't got to worry about that if you're using this particular version of uh, the script. All right, everyone, I could go on just styling the whole rest of this book for you, but I think you get the basic idea. Um, I have taught you how to install the script and how to utilize it in your document. Um, don't forget, I have the link down in the description for you to download it from GitHub. And go ahead and like and subscribe, everybody. It helps us out. If you have any questions, let me know. Type, type your questions in the comment and I'll get back to you eventually. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.